All right, next up in our queue here, we have a Strixhaven School of Mages draft bundle. So, let's go ahead and open it up. These are great if you want to check out a set, but you don't want to spend a ton of money. I can never get these open. Oh, there we go. All right. These are great if you don't want to spend a ton of money on a full box. Um, you can get these for around, go to Target, they'll be about $42. Uh, if you want to save 10 bucks, shop around online, eBay, uh, other places, you might save 10 bucks and get free shipping. So. so what we get here is the nice, sturdy... Thing will actually act as a deck holder or a card holder where something flimsy like uh, well this is filled with cards from the last video these 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 boxes fall apart and this thing will last so then you get a d20 i kind of expected a little bit of a cooler one for strixhaven but not bad i guess and then you get uh they all have the same rare in the bundle, and you also get 20 foil lands in this one, and 20 other basic lands there. So 40 basic lands total. Some rules cards for the beginners. Nothing wrong with being a beginner. And most importantly, 10 draft booster packs. So... Let's see how we do. Okay, and we are going to get our uh, Mystical Archive here, and then Radiant Scroll Welder. Scr scroll, Jesus Christ. Scroll Welder is the first rare. Last, uh, one of the last Call Dime bundles we did... We got a gold span dragon out of one, so you do you can pull uh, good cards out of these. It's just obviously with only ten packs, you have less of a chance of getting something good. Then we have the shine shadow snarl, and then we have an opt and a foil lesson card. I do like the artwork on this uh, this set. They definitely feel better quality than the uh, Commander Legends cards. Then we have Village Rights and Exponential Growth. My God, that that's gonna it's gonna cause some fuckery for sure, especially in a an arena. I don't know why, it seems like a lot of the crazy stuff happens in Arena. Then we have Purify and the Dean. Shall... Shaley? Shile? Sorry guys, I don't... I don't make up these names. Then the Vulnerable War Singer. And Shock. Oh, we got a foil rare here. We have Valentine, Dean of the Vein. Double sided card here. And then Lizette on the back. Dean of the Root. Got these uh, shitty scry lands. Not sure how how I feel about the land cycle in this deck yet. We have the Shadrix Shadrix Silver Quill and Whirlwind Denial. <clears throat> Sorry guys, it's late. Been organizing and trying to fill the TCG player store back up, so been a long day. 
at least tell myself I should shoot these videos earlier in the day when I actually have a little more uh, energy and I'm not just fucking tripping over my own tongue here. Oh, we have an Elder Dragon. The Belladross Witherbloom. Agonizing Remorse. And a Foil Mystical Archive Strategic Planning. And we cannot wait to crack another collector box of Strixhaven, which we'll be doing soon. Devastating Magistry, Mastery, and Time Warp, which is a mythic, okay. I never count how many mythics I get per box. I always I only ever look at the, uh, the value. I should start tracking the, uh, the mythics as well. So that was Selfless Glyph Weaver. And now we already got that one, Infuriate. All right. Then we are on our last pack here of the draft bundle. Snow Day. Don't know why I love that card. Start from scratch. Tempted by the Oric, I guess. And Thrill of Possibility. All right. Get out of here.